A wanted man, a sawed-off shotgun, and an unknown number of shots. We have new information on the latest shooting involving a Sioux Falls police officer. No one was hurt, but police made two arrests. Mario Rodriguez was wanted for a parole violation and drug charges. Police say Elijah Wright had meth in the car. The DCI will decide whether the men face additional charges. Today, Police Chief John Toom addressed not only the shooting, but also a larger trend he's observed. This started as just a very basic traffic stop. The stop at 6th and Cleveland became a shooting at around 2 o'clock yesterday afternoon on the east side of Sioux Falls. But there was a backseat passenger who was already in the car who presented a shotgun towards officers. Uh, officers engaged that threat with their firearms. Toom says this suspect got out of the car, was tased, and taken into custody. There was no serious injuries. There were some scratches. No one was hit by the gunfire. Uh, the, the vehicle absorbed many of the rounds. Um, and no officers were injured in that as well. Toom used the word multiple to describe the number of shots fired. He said he wasn't able to comment on whether or not the suspect fired at officers. Police spokesperson Sam Clemens says the suspect, quote, pointed the shotgun at the officers. He's 26 from Sioux Falls. The two initial charges were parole violation, and then he also had a warrant for possession of controlled substances. There's likely going to be other charges that will come. Toom described officer-involved shootings as on a, quote, recent uptick, and also said officers are finding themselves in danger more often. There's more guns out there. There's more people willing to use them, and that's a societal issue that we kind of need to talk about and, and really talk to especially young people and people within our community about the guns, and it's a serious issue. Yesterday at the scene, I spoke to someone who said she heard around eight to ten shots. Well, this is the city's third officer-involved shooting in less than a month. On July 3rd, a sniper shot and killed 57-year-old Glenn Nishish at his home on East 29th Street. He was wanted for shooting two men in Hartford just hours earlier. One of the victims died. Police say he admitted to being involved in the Hartford shootings before firing his gun at officers. A sniper returned fire. On June 22nd, police spotted a stolen car on 41st Street near Interstate 29. Two people were inside. Authorities say one of them ran away, first pulling out a knife, then a gun. That's when an officer fired a gun. No one was hurt, but police did make two arrests. The South Dakota Division of Criminal Investigation is looking to all three officer-involved shootings.